Hi, I'm Shannon Daniels, public speaking, communication, and success coach, and I'll be your education guide today. In today's lesson, we'll be learning some basic guidelines for creating effective visual aids. If you know how to properly create visual aids, they can enhance your presentation and help solidify your message. But if you use them incorrectly, they can weaken your presentation and distract your audience. Today I'll teach you five tips to create visual aids that bolster your presentation, engage your audience, and have lasting impact. So without further ado, let's get down to business. Tip one, outline first. Many people jump straight into creating their visual aids before even outlining their speech. This is especially prevalent when using PowerPoint or Keynote as these tools often get used as the speech is being created. While it's tempting to jump straight into the visuals, resist the temptation. Outlining your speech before you create your visual aids will help you to understand the key talking points you want to convey to your audience and which points you want to emphasize. It will also help you to understand the complex ideas or information that you need to explain in more detail. Once you know this, you can use your visual aids to emphasize your main points and explain complex ideas in an easy to understand way. Having your outline will also help you know how to order your visuals, be it slides, posters, or another type of aid. The second tip is know your audience and venue. It's important to know who you're talking to, how many people you're talking to, and where you'll be presenting. The more you understand about your audience, the better you'll be able to provide visuals that resonate with them and avoid visuals that may turn them off. The size of your audience and venue you're presenting in will also dictate what type of visual aid you should be using. For example, you wouldn't use a poster when standing on stage presenting to an audience of 500 or more people because nobody would be able to see or read it, except for maybe a few people in the front row. Tip number three, choose the right type of visual aid. Since the invention of PowerPoint and similar technology, many presenters use these as their go-to visual aid. While these tools are incredibly powerful visual aids, they're not your only choice. If your presentation content, audience, and venue support other means, shake things up by getting creative and trying something different. Other types of visual aids that may be appropriate include posters, videos, props, objects, and models, photographs and drawings, maps, handouts, even other people. The options are limitless. And by straying from the norm, you're likely to stand out and be more memorable to your audience. The fourth tip is to pay attention to color and contrast. Just as what you wear says a lot about you, how you dress up your visual aids says a lot to your audience, whether they realize it or not. Color plays a major role in your audience's subconscious, so you should be careful when choosing colors for your visual aids. The color you choose sends a message, and you want to make sure that that message coincides with the message you are trying to send and how you want your audience to think or feel. For example, Soft colors and pastels are soothing. Orange, red, and gold can create excitement. Pale blues, greens, and lilacs tend to lead people to feel empathy. And brighter, warmer colors are best when wanting to motivate or inspire your audience. It's important to not go overboard when choosing a color scheme. Stick to two or a maximum of three colors for your visuals. In addition, pay attention to contrast when choosing your colors. Neutral backgrounds with dark type are easiest on the eyes and therefore easiest for your audience to read. Finally, tip number five, make it readable. And I'm speaking specifically about your font size. Tip five goes hand in hand with tip two. Know your audience members, audience size, and venue. 
Knowing these three key things will help you to know what type of visual aids to use and how big to make them, especially the font size when utilizing words. A general rule of thumb for font size, especially for electronic visual aids such as PowerPoint or Keynote, is to use 24 point font when in a room where your audience will be 20 to 30 feet away from you and to use 32 point font or larger when in a room where your audience will be 30 or more feet away from you. Remember, the purpose of visual aids is to capture your audience's attention and keep them engaged, enhance your presentation and increase effectiveness, simplify complex ideas, and ultimately reinforce your message and help your audience process and retain information. Use these helpful tips for creating effective and engaging visual aids next time you deliver a speech or presentation. I hope that you found this brief training both informative and useful. Check out the other training videos and tip sheets available on my website. And when you're ready to take your public speaking and communication skills to the next level, I'm here to help. Contact me today for a complimentary skills assessment to learn how you can create a powerful presentation that resonates and gets your audience to take action.